Hey, good afternoon folks. In this video, just quick thoughts on the Eric Stahl move and potential upcoming moves that we know are coming very soon. Coming up. Okay, I just wanted to go over uh, just my thoughts on it. The dust is kind of settled and for me, I don't like to just run out there and uh, you're going to notice that just report on exactly what's going on. I was too damn busy with that last video that I just put up with uh, all the clips, you know. I was way too busy and my head is in a project. I stay in it. I just, it's the way it is. I seen Eric, the Eric Stahl move happen. It's not lightning move. You know, if it was Jack, different story. I probably would have stopped what I was doing and get in here and make a video. But look, we knew Eric Stahl's moving. We know Taylor's going next. Um, you know, uh, Montour's also going very soon. And there might be a few of even the other pieces that we're not talking about, like, you know, um, the, the lower tier guys on the team might be moved also. So we're going to see. The, the, the Sabres, if they're going after draft picks, I got no problem with that. I really, really don't. Because we can use those and play around and negotiate. The more drafts, the better. Always good to have picks. I'm a big believer, have picks available for moves and trades and drafting, of course, you know. So uh, my thoughts, you know, honestly, I think the Habs made a good move here. As crazy as it might sound to a lot of Sabres fans, I think they made a good move here. I think this is going to strengthen Montreal and it's going to maybe rejuvenate uh, Stahl, you know, like, and I have no ill feelings towards this guy at all. I don't, except 2006, I'm still pissed about, but this... Eric Stahl of this year, not really. God, folks, I mean, come on. We, we got this guy in here and he was termed as the, the savior on the second line right away. And I agreed with it myself. I did. I thought, you know, this is really going to be awesome for us. Hey, we're, we're going to just have to like really look at upper management. You know, I, I, I don't even want to jump on any of the players or who were moving. I'm not even mad at Hall, to be honest. I'm just not mad at these guys. I'm more mad at management, ownership. That's what's bugging me. That's where I'm at with the Sabres, really. How could you let it get to this, guys? How could you let us get to this level, you know, and sit pat? Like, I will never forget how management sat on the Kruger thing. They just sat there. It's not like we needed a replacement coach because we didn't get one yet. They just sat there and let us suffer a slow, painful death with this guy. And I didn't hate Kruger. I, I actually felt bad for this man. He might go and do well elsewhere. I don't think he's this terrible hockey mind that we might all think he is. He might not be. You know what I mean? It's just, we don't know with this owner what really goes on. And um, till we fix up there, down there is not going to get better. It's just not. And that, that's my concern with the Sabres. Not who we're trading, not, uh, you know. I wanted to get a second rounder for a stall. It might have been a bit of a, a stretch, maybe, but I wanted to get a second rounder. I thought we could have held out there. But don't hold out. Screw it. Take the picks. Just get them. You know what I mean? Move, make the move. And uh, so what if we hold a bit of... Uh, if we, if we retain a bit of a cap and, and salary, I mean, look, the season's this big that's left, and then you got the whole, these guys in the back, you know, some of these guys, uh, I mean, the, the league also, you got to figure out the whole escrow thing. And I mean, look, cash is, the Habs are going to put it this way, pay him this. They're not going to be paying this guy much. It's not much. And for them, it's really, if you think about it, it's risk-free, you know, it's a, uh, and I think he can help Montreal. I seen the way Kovalchuk fitted in here in Montreal. I did. I seen. Anyway, forget the players. My main concern is management, ownership. That's really where I'm concerned about the Buffalo Sabres, guys. It's really where I'm at, really. I actually feel bad for, for some of our players this year. I really do in this scenario. I feel bad for them. Even if I get it that they're not out there hustling, they, were, they had such bad leadership above them. And the coach had bad leadership above him. And that leadership has bad ownership above him. The downline is weak. That's what's going on. And when upstairs is weak, the product is weak. Even if the heart is, the heart is good, doesn't matter. We're not in a business to, uh, um, to be nice guys here. You know, we're in a business to win. And 
I, um, I, where I stand with it is I think Pagula should sell the team if this team really doesn't pick up uh, very soon. He should really think about selling the team. If he loves the team, like he says, you know. Sell him to an owner that really knows what he's doing, you know. And um, it's kind of where I stand. And on that thought, I'm going to stop there. And uh, I will wish Eric Stahl well in Montreal. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on him out here just to see what goes on because I, I, I check out the Habs also. I watch, I watch some of their games. I watch the Canadian division I watch quite a bit of also, you know, them, Edmonton. I keep an eye on it. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want to blame the players. I don't want to go there. Really, I'm being, I find that I'm just being not a very, very uh, realistic fan if that's, if our problems only the players, I would agree. Oh my God, folks, our our problems go way up there. That's where the main problems are. Until up there is fixed, down there is going to suffer, and that's where this fan stands. I wish you guys well, and I hope to see you later on this evening if I get something up uh, up and made. I haven't come up with an idea yet, but uh, might just come up with another video later on. Take care of yourselves. Be safe.